Hello everyone, today we are continuing with numerical analysis bisection method. Okay, so here we have a problem. Find the real root of the equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. And we have to correct the answer up to 3 decimal places. We are doing with bisection method. So our question is f of x. We will take the question to be f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x minus 5. So now first step is to find trial and method trial and error method you should use and find which is the root of the equation uh, root of the equation lies between a and b we should find a and b so what is f of 1 it is 1 cube minus 2 into 1 minus 5 it's nothing but 1 minus 2 minus 5 5 6 7 minus 1 it's minus 6 so we will try f of 0 also f of 0 is nothing but okay 0 cube minus 0 okay minus 5 it will be right f of 2 f of 2 is 2 cube minus 2 into 2 minus 5 is equal to you will get the answer to be minus 1 so this is less than 0 this is also less than 0 this is also less than 0 so you have to find a positive number next so that you can say the root lies between those two so f of 3 that is 3 cube minus 2 into 3 minus 5 you will get it as 16 plus 16 which is greater than 0 that means the root lies between these two root lies between a and b f of a f of b right a and b so the root lies between root lies between negative number you take it as a this answer negative take this as a and b is equal to 3 so what is your formula remember x1 is equal to a plus b by 2 so what is a a is 2 plus 3 by 2 it's nothing but 5 by 2 you have your x1 to be 2.5 now our next step is to find f of x1 so what is x1 x1 is this so f of 2.5 it is 2.5 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.5 minus 5 so you will get the answer to be 5.625 which is greater than 0 now compare this with the previous negative number if it was negative go to the previous positive number so this was f of 5.625 positive the previous is negative this is positive f of this is negative f of that means the root lies between 2 and 2.5 now our root lies between a is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to 2.5 now our x2 will be a plus x1 divided by 2 that is nothing but 2 plus 2.5 divided by 2 you get the answer to be 2.25 now our next aim is to find f of x2 that is f of 2.25 so apply this in the question what do you get use your calces for the calculator calculations so you get the answer to be 1.8906 so now compare with the previous f of this is greater than 0 that means the previous negative number and the negative number is minus 1 that means 2 again now our root lies between a is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2.25 now our formula is x3 is equal to a plus x2 by 2 that's nothing but 2 plus 2.25 divided by 2 you get the answer x3 to be 0 0.3457 okay so now you have to find f of 
x3 so what is your f of x3 f of x3 is 0.3457 the whole cube minus 2 into 0.3457 minus 5 so calculating that you will get the answer to 2.0625 now compare this this is greater than 0 that means the previous negative number the previous negative value was a itself right so this is positive the previous f of x is positive next the previous f of x is positive the next previous f of x was positive next negative was f of 2 right that means this is a 2 was a right see yeah now the root lies between a and x 3 we have to find the approximation x was equal to a plus x3 by 2 that's nothing but 2 plus 0 0.3457 divided by 2 you will get x4 to be 2.0625 now your aim is to find f of x4 that's nothing but f of 2.0625 so put this wherever x was there in the question you have to put 2.0625 that is 2.0625 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.0625 minus 5 so you will get the answer to be f of x4 is nothing but minus 0 0.3513 use your calces okay okay now compare the f of with the previous f of before that this is negative that means you have to check for the previous positive number so f of this is negative number previous f of was this this is positive number that means the root lies between x4 and x3 okay so now we have x5 how to find x5 x4 plus x3 divided by 2 so x4 value plus x3 value divided by 2 you will get x5 is equal to 2.0937 okay so now find after finding x5 your aim is to find f of x5 so f of x5 is nothing but 2.0937 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.0937 minus 5. So you get f of 2.0937 to be minus 9.499. minus 3 you can use a scientific calculus because your after decimal point numbers will be more right okay so now compare this is a negative number that means negative number previous positive number so this is your f of next previous f of was this one so that you that was negative again you are searching for a positive number so this is a positive number that is x3 the root lies between x3 and x5 so now the root lies between x3 and x5. Now the root lies between x3 and x5. Now x is equal to x3 plus x5 divided by 2. That is nothing but 0 0.3457 plus 2.0937 divided by 2. So you get the x6 value to be 2.1093. Okay. So now your aim is to find f of x6. It's nothing but 2.1093 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.1093 minus 5. So you get the answer of f of x6 to be 0.1659 which is greater than 0. That means you have to check for the previous f of negative number. So previous f of negative was your previous minus, right? That means f of x5. So the root lies between x5 and x6. Now since the root lies between f5, x5 and x6, what is your formula? x7 is equal to x5 plus x6 divided by 2. So what is x5 value? x5 value is 2.0937. Two point zero nine three seven plus what is x six? X six is two point one zero nine three divided by two. You get x seven. So your x seven value is two point one zero double one five. 
now your aim is to find f of x7 so f of x7 is nothing but what is x7 2.10115 whole cube minus 2 into 2.10115 minus 5 so your f of x7 becomes 0 0.0733 which is greater than 0 that means you have to check for the previous negative number negative f of x so this is positive the previous was positive next previous was negative that means your root lies between x5 x5 and x7 so x7 is 2.1015 so x7 value we substituted and then we found out right so now our root lies between so now what is our x8 x5 plus x7 divided by 2 so that's nothing but 2.0937 plus 2.10115 divided by 2 so x8 is 2.0974 now your aim is to find f of x8 that is nothing but f of 2.0974 so substituting this in the question you will get 2.0974 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.0974 minus 5 so you get the answer to be f of x8 is nothing but 0 0.0318 which is greater than 0 so you have to check for the previous negative number so your previous f of negative is this is positive next previous is positive next previous is negative that means your f of x5 root lies between x5 and your current x8 now the root lies between x5 and x8 so we have x9 is equal to x5 plus x8 divided by 2 so what was our x5 2.0937 plus x8 was 2.0974 divided by 2 so you find the x9 so you get 2.0955 okay our next step is to find f of x9 it's nothing but f of 2.0955 so apply that in the question calculate and you will get the answer 0 0.0105 so now this is greater than 0 we should check for the previous negative number right so we'll check for the previous negative f of okay so this is positive x9 so our previous was x8 f of x8 is positive x7 is positive f of x6 was positive f of xy was negative that means x root lies between x5 and so our root x10 can be found out using the formula x5 plus x9 divided by 2 so substituting the value of x5 x9 dividing by 2 we get x10 is equal to 2.0946 now our aim is to find f of x10 okay so now f of x10 is nothing but f of 2.0946 applying that in the question it becomes 0 0.2946 the whole cube minus 2 into 2.0946 minus 5 so you get the answer f of x10 is equal to 5.9155 into 10 to the power of minus 4 this is f of x10 which is a positive number the previous negative number as you know it is x5 till then it is all positive numbers right so we find x11 using x5 plus x10 divided by 2 x5 plus x7 x10 divided by 2 you get x11 is equal to 2.0941 okay now how you find the root root is x1 x2 x3 x4 these are the roots which we were finding right so approximate root we will stop when we start getting see after the decimal point three numbers if you are getting same repeat it twice or repeat it thrice you can stop there okay since it is 11 11 times we have done the approx approximations we can see for either two times repetition or three times repetition so now x11 is 0 0.941 what was x10 0 0.2.0946 that means 0 0.94 
you have again after decimal point 094 twice it is repeated let's check the previous one also x9 it was 0955 that means two numbers are same from long time but three numbers now we got it as 2.0946 2.0941 that means we can approximate the root to be 2.094 we are correcting up to three decimal places remember so the next number if it is 5 and above 5 you had to add one number to it now it is below 5 that means you can cut down from here you can write this as 2.094 is the approximate root of the given algebraic equation okay hence the approximate root corrected up to three decimal places is 2.094 thank you